Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading for you from May 15th to June 15th. This is going to be a sneak peek preview into your reading for June. And I'm going to start off the reading with an important love message for you. What is it that you need to know about your love message? In the extended reading, we will reveal what this message is for you. So what is your important love message? What is your important love message? Okay. Okay. So your important love message. All right. So we're going to get into your reading now, Leo. So Leo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. All right, Leo. All right, so your challenge from May 15th to June 15th is the Three of Cups, and it says, I embrace joyful opportunities, okay? What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Leo, is the king of swords in reverse king of swords in reverse okay all right so your challenge for june is the three of cups here um what i'm getting is that for many of you there is an opportunity to come together with someone is it's a very beautiful energy that's coming in there's an opportunity here this may lead to some sort of celebration happiness joy for some of you this is someone from the past that you're reconciling with that's not for all of you um, for others of you, you're just celebrating something really big here. So I'm going to clarify this and we're going to get some information um, for, for you on this in a moment. In the recent past, Leo, you have the nine of pentacles, you have the five of pentacles, and you have the judgment card. I feel like in the past someone left, okay? Uh, someone left you or you left them. I'm really getting someone left you. And this led to a lot of realizations that you need to stand on your own. There's something here, Leo, about you learning how to have or rely on yourself. I take the time I need to nurture nurture myself so you learned in the past that I don't need to allow other people to define me I don't need situations in my life to define me I am who I am and whether someone you know stays or leaves I'm still going to be able to stand on my own two feet nine of pentacles and this is something that you realized in the past it was a very strong realization that you came to in the past it says I look back with compassion for myself Okay, so you went through a lot, but it also created a stronger you in the past. In the present moment, you have the King of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Cups, and you have the Three of Swords. I'm really getting in the present moment, a lot of you are still hurt over something that happened in the past. You haven't completely let this go or completely healed from it. It is definitely something that you are processing and going through. There is a lot of confusion, though, in the present moment. A lot of you have multiple options. You have multiple people interested in you. But there's one specific person here that stands out from the rest. And that's the King of Pentacles. Okay, it says, I am sure of my place in the world. Someone here is showing up in the present moment. They are someone who is sincere. They are somebody who really um, can give you the love that you need. Okay, not only love, but the support that you need. But a lot of you are having difficult seeing this person for who they truly are because of maybe some sort of trauma that you've experienced in the past that you're still working through. And that's okay. All right. So in the near future, Leo, you have the Six of Cups, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and you have the Queen of Pentacles. There is someone here, again, like I said, coming into your life that is very secure and solid and stable. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also getting a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There is a strong soulmate twin flame connection here with the Six of Cups. I've been seeing this for the fire signs all um, for the past few weeks, that there is a significant opportunity that is coming into your life. We're going to find out what this opportunity is for you when we clarify all right leo so what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck we have the king of swords in reverse we have the five of wands in reverse we have the ten of wands in reverse the nine of swords in reverse the star in reverse and the justice in reverse with the three of pentacles in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse a situation um that 
really affected you okay could have been with a water sign cancer scorpio pisces things stopped working out um there was also a situation leo where and this is you looking back at some sort of uh, uh events or situation that really affected your confidence it's like you invested or you believed that you were going to prosper with a specific person and you completely um dropped the burden you gave up on this situation you gave up fighting and arguing for some of you and there is a situation in the near future that you're going to be looking back on. You're going to say, this is so silly. Why did I even bother or waste time dealing with this situation? It's not even for me. It's not even worth it for me. So you are going to be realizing a lot here about a situation that really wasn't for you. And a lot of you are wishing or hoping that you would have seen this earlier. But this is a big lesson. This was part of your um, come up. This was part of your learning self-worth okay so this is what you don't see coming that you are going to be realizing things um that you should have realized a long time but this is part of your healing and processing all right so let's do some clarification leo and uh let's see what's going on for you all right so i'm going to clarify your challenge for this coming june Clarify the Three of Cups. All right, so the Three of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Swords. You have the Seven of Swords and you have the Fool. All right. So what I'm getting here is, is that there is going to be a brand new beginning that is presenting itself to you in June. Uh, however, even though this situation is being presented to you, there is still some sort of fear. This is fear. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This is what is really holding you back from having this new beginning. Even though it looks like a beautiful new beginning, it's one that you want to shout at the top of the mountains about. Like, wow, this is amazing. This is great. But there's also those fears that are lingering in the background can i trust this person can i trust this person again you know are they going to cheat on me are they going to lie to me are they going to do what they did to me in the past you know there's anxiety here there's fear about a new beginning okay so your challenge is to be in the moment your challenge is three of cups celebrate celebrate the new beginning try not to revert your mind back to a place that creates anxiety fear and worry if this happens, deal with it when it happens, but don't manifest and create this um, when there's something beautiful that is being presented to you now, okay? So this is your challenge uh, for the coming month, June. All right, Leo, so we're gonna clarify the past. I'm gonna clarify the five of pentacles in the past for you. So the five of pentacles is clarified by the king of pentacles, the two of pentacles and the tower. So someone here made a decision in the past. Okay. Um, I'm really getting a selfish decision here. I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's a selfish energy here with the king of pentacles. It's like someone here had the ability to support and to bring some sort of structure, but it just didn't work out the way it needed to. Someone here left. Okay, in the past, they completely abandoned the situation because what was presented in the past was a challenge. The tower is some sort of challenge that comes out of nowhere. And you always have a decision when the tower shows up. You know, you have a decision to endure and say, you know what, I'm going to work through this tower moment and it's just going to make me a stronger person or I'm going to run because I don't see any value in this. So what happened here, Leo, was someone here didn't see the value. King of Pentacles, automatically there's value. Whenever the King of Pentacles shows up, Nine of Pentacles, there's value. The problem here is someone didn't realize it in the past. And this is what led to the destruction of some sort of relationship because someone here did not want to face something that they knew was going to be very difficult. But at the same time, it led to a lot of rewards, possibly for the person who stick who stuck around someone here stuck around and they worked on themselves this could have been you leo let me clarify the nine of pentacles tell me about the nine of pentacles in the past for leo okay 
Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Magician. What was supposed to happen in the past for many of you was you and this person were supposed to work together to heal, to manifest and create the Nine of Pentacles energy. The problem here, because the Five of Pentacles is beside it, it's telling you that one of you did not follow through. This could have been you, it could have been your person. One of you didn't follow through on this. And this is why there was a lack of realization. One person realized while the other person didn't. So I feel strongly here there was a missed opportunity because of a decision that was poorly made in terms of a connection moving forward in the past okay so in the present moment you have the three of swords okay i'm going to clarify the three of swords and see what the three of swords what the message here is for you with the three of swords So the Three of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's interesting because for many of you, there's a fear here, okay? The Three of Swords is ultimately a fear. It's a fear of pain. It's a fear of traumas, okay? And the, the Three of Swords, you know, anything swords in tarot, most of you will know this, is related to the mind. So whatever is happening in the present moment is a fear related to the experiences that you've had, Leo, in the past with the Page of Cups energy here, okay? For many of you in the present moment, you're dealing with somebody who broke your heart, somebody who maybe betrayed you, someone who hurt you in the past, okay? They're showing up again in the present moment. This time, this person does have potential to uh, have a long-term commitment and connection with you, but so does this other person with the King of Pentacles. You know, the Three of Swords is connected to somebody here who has been very on and off with you, Water Sign maybe, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then you have another energy here. So we're gonna clarify that in the moment. For me, Leo, in the present moment, for many of you, you have options. You got options. You got people here. I trust myself to see the truth. You need to see the truth when it comes to two different situations in your life. Tell me more about the seven of cups for Leo in the present moment. So the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So eventually you will have to make a decision between two paths that you can take in your life. Okay, it could be two different people. It could be two different opportunities in love. It could be two different opportunities in business. Just apply it to your situation. What I'm ultimately getting here, Leo, is you are holding on to someone that isn't really completely fulfilling you. Okay, this is not for all of you, but for some of you, you need to hear this message. You are holding on to a situation or someone here is holding on, could be your person, holding on to a situation that is not completely fulfilling. And what's interesting here is, is that when you realize the situation is not completely fulfilling and you see your options, that is when the king of pentacles shows up it's like wow i never thought i would have been able to um, attract this type of person in my life and they show up so tell me more about this king of pentacles for leo in the present moment So the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Emperor, the Seven of Wands, and the Empress. It's interesting because you and this person, whoever's showing up in the present moment, there's a big, big, big possibility that you and this person are meant to be together. Emperor and Empress, side by side, it's rare for it to come out. So whoever this person is, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, I'm getting here, maybe another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is somebody who could really bring stability into your life and growth, but you don't know that. Why? Because you are being super resistant towards this person. You're like, mm, I don't know, I don't know, mm, I don't know. And then this other person here that's broken your heart, you still see a possibility with them too. So a lot of you need to recognize in the present moment what is fulfilling you and what is not fulfilling you and make your decision based on that, okay? I can't make the decision for you, of course. 
I can just tell you the message. All right, Leo. So let's talk about the near future. Beautiful opportunity is coming into your life. We're going to find out what this opportunity is for you. I am always rewarded for all I do. You are going to be rewarded is what this is telling me. Before I clarify that and get some more information, I want to find out what this significant connection is that's coming into your life. It is a soulmate connection. I remember and treasure past happiness. There's a situation that's showing up for you, Leo, in the near future that brings so much happiness. It reminds you of the past. It's like, wow, I remember when I was happy. Is this finally happening again for me? Is it? Let's see. Let's clarify the six of cups. What is this strong connection that is coming in for Leo? What does this mean for Leo? What is the message here? The six of cups is clarified by the five of swords, the two of swords and the ace of swords. For many of you, you've been trying to protect yourself. In the near future, you will be trying to protect yourself, preserve yourself with the two of swords here and the five of swords. But what you are being called to do here is to recognize some sort of truth. See something for what it truly is. You are going to get the signs. You are going to get the synchronicities here with the ace of swords and the six of cups because whatever you're experiencing in the near future, the happiness, because six of cups is very much associated with happiness. Um... It even says happiness there. You're going to see what is good for you and what's not good for you. Feelings. Okay. The six of cups is all about our feelings, our emotions, and the ace of swords is all about clarity. So your emotions in the near future are going to give you the clarity that you need. What are your, what are you emotionally feeling? Are you emotionally feeling happy? If you are, then maybe that is your signal to open up, to be open to this and not to fight it because there is an energy here of you fighting something that comes with a beautiful opportunity for you. So let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles and see what this beautiful opportunity is, Leo, that is coming into your life, which is bringing possibly a lot of stability with the Queen of Pentacles here. Tell me what the Ace of Pentacles is for Leo. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Three of Wands. You have the King of Cups and the Hierophant. Wow. You've been waiting for this, Leo, for so long. Three years, three months, three days. You've been waiting on this. You've been waiting on this opportunity to come. And what this opportunity entails is a serious commitment and connection. Okay. Someone here wants this with you. They're going to be letting you know, you are going to be the one that needs to make a decision on whether or not you want to move forward with this three of wands. Okay. So, wow. Very, very beautiful reading. Um, let's get some advice for you on this situation. So the advice for you, Leo, is the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Are you looking at this situation from the perspective that you need to be looking um, at it from? I release myself from self-inflicted um, binds. Because you had such a bad experience with someone from the past who was very um, nonchalant with you, Page of Cups energy, there's something here about someone transforming or choosing to transform. There's an energy here of you needing to release yourself and to be honest with yourself about these people that are coming into your life. Who is giving you the love? Who is giving you the love completely and who isn't? Whoever isn't giving you love equally to the amount you're giving, maybe it's time to release that person or situation okay so there's something here about you releasing yourself from some sort of inflicted bind when it comes to two significant energies in your life they're very different you're the one that's going to have to make a decision about them okay so leo this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one bye